Hi, John Sullivan again with 401k Specialist from the floor of the FI360 conference here in San Diego. And I'm with Blaine Aiken, Executive Chairman of FI360. And Blaine, we were talking a little bit about the DOL last year, SEC this year. It seems like these, these rules hit or some kind of a major event happens right before the show. It gives you guys something to talk about. It does, it does. It's uh, remarkable how that's happened. DOL rule came out right as the conference began, uh, began last year. Last year? And, yeah. and now we have the SEC uh, right at their doorstep. Fantastic. Now, what do you think is going to happen with the SEC? rule. I mean, he made some controversial statements yesterday about yes. it might not ever happen. Yeah, I think it's a very challenging environment and it's always difficult whenever you have uncertainty built on uncertainty. Sure. Yeah. So we've got the DOL rule kind of in limbo at the moment. We have the SEC making this release and they certainly did it quickly. Yeah. I have to say, Jay Clayton, whenever he said he was going to bring this thing out, he did. He did. Uh, but, you know, he didn't have strong support from the other commissioners in the commentary. And I think you, there are elements of the rule that will be a a little bit problematic and try to get this thing into place. Now you said that the DOL rule at this point, and I quote, is on life support. You stand by that statement? I, I think it's on life support, uh, you know, the, and it's unfortunate in um, multiple respects because here we had uh, a rare moment, uh, and it was little more than a moment, yeah. of certainty uh, with respect to the rule. So we had part of it that was in a place. We found that uh, major organizations were adapting. They made it workable. The parts that were deferred were actually those that were most controversial, and those probably would have gone away. But geez, we would have at least had that base to build on. And yeah. so now we're in limbo. I think the you know we've got the appeal that came out right during the con yeah, yeah. Uh, conference as well from yeah. ARP and the ARP, States. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we'll uh, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, but it would be nice to have some stability somewhere. Does it matter at this point? I mean, it's out now amongst the general public. I mean, has it kind of served its purpose almost? In many respects, I think it has. Uh, because, you know, once you've occupied the high ground, if you have moved to uh, that fiduciary status, there really isn't a good reason to turn back. You've done the hard work. Right. And I think that's the message overall we would have, too, is to say, look, in the best case scenario with this SEC rule, uh, we may see it in 2020 right. implemented, whenever you get that calendar down. And, and we're we're not certain about that. As I said, I, you know, it's it's possible that it wouldn't ever make it. And then we have the DOL. Even if the appeal uh, is unsuccessful and the rule is vacated, then what? Yeah. The DOL could come out with another rule, and you've got the courts overlaid uh, along with the all states. The, yep. So we've got all of that out there. So. You know, uh, the only safe place to be really is on the high ground of the fiduciary standard because you right, know that anyway. that's the place that uh, you don't have to turn back from. That's fantastic. Now, you know, what is the mood here at the show versus yeah. years past? What are, uh, are advisors talking about? I mean, I'm sensing that they're they're pretty happy. Things are going pretty well here. Uh, definitely a great show. What, what are you seeing? Uh, it's same. You know, we've uh, we've got good numbers in terms of attendance. We've continued to grow. It's a great location, sure. of course. Yeah, and, I love it. Uh, and there is so much happening. We know the regulatory environment is unsettled. Uh, but these are t uh, typically the folks that are occupying that high yeah, ground. Yeah, right. so, so they're able to uh, have some confidence in working on the reputation, making sure that we're advancing the profession and able to, uh, to, to do the work that we do yeah. uh, in an effective way. So. Absolutely, wonderful. Yeah. Blaine Aiken, always fascinating. Yeah, Thank you so much for making time. Much. Yeah, wonderful. Once again, I'm John Sullivan with 401k Specialist.